everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today is the last day of January. Can you believe that January is already gone? That means we're that much closer to spring. Mm -hmm. I, I always mark the calendar off, and by the end of March is when I'm thinking that it should be warm, but you know, we don't get warm until really the end of April, somewhere in there, more in, or the middle of April. By, by Memorial Weekend, we usually have a little bit of a warm spell, but we could still get another frost, so we will probably put our garden in the first week in June, which is a long ways away sounding when you say June, but when you say March, March sounds pretty close. It's only two months away. Well, because it is the last day of the month, it's time to check your finances. I hope you've been tracking. I tracked again, and this year... We're like 1000 almost $2,000 less than last January. So now we've got, we've got two years to compare. We've got last year, the 2020 January, and then we've got this year, January, to compare. And it would have been a little bit, had the dryer not gotten broken, it would have been almost $600 less than what it actually ended up. We did actually very good for January. And, but we didn't have that other house to pay taxes on, which is a lot. And we won't have to pay village tax on it either. We won't have to pay school tax on it. But right we'll now, pay water or, or water or electric or anything on it, which is which is nice to not have to worry about it. Because, you know, with everybody having a hard time paying their rent and getting things, it would have been a real struggle right now for, for me to have any tenants in there. The one tenant that was in there is a very good payer, but he was always like three days late, which is okay because I always knew he was going to pay. I got 13 eggs, did I say? No, 17 eggs. 17, 17 eggs. I got 17 eggs. I went out there and silver was in the box when I gathered the first batch. And I thought, well, I'll wait, and I'll go back later. And then when I went back later, silver was still on the box. But I reached underneath her and took out the other eggs. And she was good for the first four times I went under her. But when I went to go again, she, she tried to snap at me. But she's not broody. She just was sitting in the nest on the eggs. That's a lot of eggs. And I didn't have eggs tonight. Tonight I cooked. I asked Jim what he wanted to eat. Because it is Sunday, and we thought we would have... I says, would you like me to cook you something? Because a lot of times I don't bother to cook. I just He just figures out what he wants to have. And it's usually eggs with cheese, and I don't know what all he puts in it. He puts a lot of spices, and it smells really good. But Gar it's eggs. Garlic and Italian seasoning. But it smells really good. <laughs> and um, so I, I did up. I used the souve. I did a little bit of. I says, well, if I put it in the souve, we could. I leave it in the souve for about two hours, and then it takes just a few minutes to fry it up. And I said, and what do you want with the steak? Because we had a little bit of steak today. And he said green beans would be good, so I brought up some green beans and some mushrooms. So I I drained those enough to where they were pretty dry and then you throw them in the frying pan and I put a little bacon grease in the frying pan and fry them up a little bit with them so it was green pep green peppers listen to me green <laughs> green beans and mushrooms I almost couldn't think what they were called <laughs> green beans and mushrooms and I fried them up they're very good fried I don't know if you've ever had your your green beans fried but they're very good fried a lot of people will steam them, but I, I prefer not to steam them. I prefer to have them fried. I like the fried taste. Yeah, me too. Well, I just put Mr. Brown to bed. I picked up his poop. And a few of you have asked to, for me to show when I'm cleaning the floor for Mr. Brown to help sh to clean the floor with me. I will try and do that, but I'll have to do it on, in the daylight. Right now it's dark out. And I've put him to bed, or put her to bed already. She's a funny little thing. And I liked the comments where somebody said that Jim was being henpecked. Yeah, he was being henpecked. <laughs> yep. But not by me, by Mr. Brown. Well, you take care, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.